I am so excited today because I've got Chris Baber, everybody. Hi, guys. And he has come to cook a delicious meal with us. But you get two for the price of one today. So you might have already watched the other video. If you haven't, click up here and you can check out the most delicious French fries. But for this yes, recipe, we will be making... The perfect steak with a mushroom sauce. Dead easy as well. So excited. Yeah, so and I'm going to let Chris take it away. Right, let's get started. So we've got a rump steak. First thing we're going to do is season it. Salt, black pepper, both sides. Yes. We got this out of the fridge 20, 30 minutes before uh, we're actually going to cook it. Now the reason is, if your steak's stone cold in the middle, you're going to have to overcook the outside of it to cook. To get through. Yeah, to, to, for get the, the heat, heat to get to the middle. So that's going to help the steak cook and stay nice and tender and pink and juicy in the middle, which is just how I like it's it. Very. How do you like your there. steak? I like it rare. Rare. Okay. Well, med let's go medium rare, yeah, so not to yeah, offend yeah. people. Okay. I don't want to offend anyone with a well done steak, mind. It's just not right. I'm sorry. I'm I think when you're paying you're good there. money for a nice piece of steak like this, you you really don't want to don't turn overcook it. Don't into a boot. It. No, we're going to wait until that's smoking hot. Smoking, and we literally mean smoking yeah, hot. So smoking get your hot. ventilation going. Yeah, get your fans going. If you put it into a medium warm pan, yeah. you're going to have to wait for your steak to get up to temperature, your pan to get up to temperature yeah. with your steak sat in there, which means you're going to end up with an overcooked, rubbery, boring. Yeah. And it's going to have no colour. Food's got to look good, and I want to see the outside of this so it's going to look caramelised and delicious. Are you second. feeling the pressure to make sure it is medium rare? No, because I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Confidence. Yeah, confidence. Now we've got a bit of a line of fat on there. We have, yeah. Don't cut that off. There's a lot of flavour in there. Chris Baber, tell everyone who the hell you are. I'm going to yeah. throw up loads of like pictures of your Instagram okay, and stuff. Okay, amazing. I'm just going to put loads yeah. of pictures of David Gamby up there. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm a cook. I try and inspire people to cook from scratch at home. I'm all about a balanced diet, everything in moderation. I just love food like you. Yeah. Yeah, and cooking it and sharing it and showing people just how easy it is to cook amazing food at home. You put, you I've got steak on it. I'm just going to put a little bit more oil in there. This is crazy good non-stick by the way. Then we're going to lay that in away from us in case anything splashes. I'm going to quickly wash my hands. Hygiene first, Chris. Look at that. It smells amazing. Every sort of minute, give it a, a little check, flip it over. And that's going to help it cook evenly, so I like to flip it over every minute. Ah. Yeah, How good is this pan? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, amazing. Sorry, I so yeah. rarely get a good non-stick yeah. pan. A couple of bits of garlic is going to go in there and some thyme, a few sprigs. That piece of fat that you were talking about, we're going to get that nice and crispy. So just lift your steak up, get that in contact with the pan. Lightly crush that garlic and add that into the pan. And that's just going to flavour the oil, which is then going to flavour the meat. A bit of that in there. Steady, Eddie. Yeah. Now, to tell how your meat is done, you look at your hand. I would say here is medium rare. This closer up there is medium, and this is well done. Don't go there. Is that how you do That's it? That's how I do it, yeah. I do the pinch. The pinch, okay. What's the pinch? So, this is rare. I guess it depends on this what your hands are like as well, rare. doesn't it? Yeah, okay. This is right. uh, medium to well. Yeah. That's well so done. I have a feel of that. Oh. Oh, it's feeling, oh, it's feeling squidgy. Yeah, right, it's so. It's feeling rare, but. It's nearly done. Getting there. So, what I'm going to do now is add some butter to the pan. Now, we add this at the end because butter has a lower smoking point. If you cook the whole steak in butter, it will burn. Top tip for steak. In she goes. And then actually baste the butter over the steak. I'm a bit worried that no one's going to come back to this oh, channel if I don't have that. guest appearance. I'll tell you what, that is smelling. Incredible, isn't it? Pretty chuffed with that. Yeah, you now, should be. The feel of that, I think we're good yeah. to rest it. So what I'm going to do... Should grab me a plate. Grab me a plate, please. I'm going to take out some of the butter, pour that over. That's going to keep it moist. Just leave that to rest. So now we've got a creamy mushroom sauce. So the pan, we can turn down slightly. We've got some... What sort of mushrooms are these? They were... So they were mixed mushrooms. So you've got a few uh, chanterelle, you've got some chestnut, yep. you've got some shiitake. Yep. They were just a, a dried mixed mushroom that you can get a in any supermarket. And then what we did, we soaked them in boiling water to rehydrate them. Mm -hmm. And then we're actually going to fry them off. We actually saved some of the, the, the water from the mushrooms. There and we'll add is. a little bit of that into the sauce as well. So there's a little bit of colour on them. And so next up, we're going to deglaze the pan with some balsamic vinegar. Oh, it's good balsamic yeah. as well. Where right. do you get that from? Like That's where that Waitrose balsamic in there. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. And then we're going to go in just a splash of the mushroom liquid. And we just got some beef stock here. Oh, the smell. 
Yeah. <gasps> oh! Yeah. And then we're just going to bring that up to the boil. Now this has taken a while to heat back up. You probably won't be using a camping stove at home. Sorry I guys, we have to yeah. improvise in the Katie Bix kitchen. <laughs> However, it does show that if you are out camping, you can do a steak and mushroom sauce. Yes, you can! Yeah. Hey, that is a high quality piece yeah, of kitchen good. gadget, yeah. I'll have you know. That's reduced down by about half, so the flavour's intensified. Next up... Philly. Philadelphia cheese. You could also use creme fraiche, but I know you like cheese. So, let's do a cheesy one. Who doesn't like yeah. cheese? Well, now I'm discarding the, the whole cloves of garlic. We don't need them, but they've definitely flavoured the... They've uh, done their job. They've done their job. Gee, you're a very tidy cook. Yeah, you've got to be. I think that's what you learn in a restaurant, like, because you get your arse kicked if you don't. Like, I think I'll get thrown out. You've got to be immaculate. We've got some tender stem broccoli on there. Beautiful. I love a bit of greens. We can turn the sauce off. Oh, do you know what else would go really nicely on this? Oh, some of your chips. Would you like some homemade fries there, Chris? I would indeed. Resting <gasps> juices from the steak, nearly oh! forgot. Back in, waste oh, it nothing. Happened. Crispy crunchy. Steak's going on. Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so before we tuck into the steak, I want to feed Kate a spoonful of my mushroom sauce. Oh, I feel like I should put some, yeah. some sort of seductive Stevie Wonder music over there. Da, 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 how was it? Are you joking? Is it good? Oh my god. <laughs> Boom. I didn't expect there to be that much. I'll be honest, didn't expect there to be that much flavour. Yes! Flavor. I'm buzzing for that. that few ingredients. Yeah. Come on. Well, there we are. My god. That, everybody, is a professional chef at work. Now that. Don't ever expect to see the standard on here ever again. Is exactly how you want your steak. <laughs> oh, Chris! Yes. Stop it! Oh. <laughs> well, I'm chuffed with that. <laughs> I need to try a chip. Get them chips in. Chip in the sauce. Oh. My yeah. goodness, give it a crack at home. If you are vegetarian or vegan, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And I wish I you could, could join do the your mushroom time. sauce. But until yeah. he stops cooking like that, yeah. we've got a problem. Wow. We've got a real problem. You enjoy that. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much, Chris, yeah, for coming on the for channel. Yeah, cheers. Make sure you check the other one up there yeah. as well. Follow me Make on sure Instagram. you follow this guy on Instagram yeah. and check out all his details yeah. in the links below. And until next time, I'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Made a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good.